Hey everyone, it's Lou here of Little Subtle Shop. This is the Star Pop Pillow. And I've actually had quite a few of you ask me how to get the first few rounds started. So I thought I'd make a video showing you exactly how to do that. This is a level two easy pattern. It includes simple stitch combos and shaping, obviously into a star shape. But I think what was confusing a lot of people is which stitch to skip after they make the cluster. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Um, if you want to grab your materials, you can follow along. This is the yarn I'm using. It's called I Love This Yarn by Hobby Lobby. It's a number four medium worsted weight yarn, 100% acrylic. And the hook is a size G, four millimeter hook. So usually I use with only 100% cotton yarns, but I find that for this project, the cotton shows the holes in the stitches more than acrylic. So the blue one is cotton, this one's acrylic. Anyways, get your yarns ready and your hook. And then also five stitch markers. I highly, highly recommend using five stitch markers to help you keep track of where the cluster stitches are, at least for the first few rounds. And then after that, you can uh, start to see where they all line up. But at least for the first few rounds, make sure you mark those chain spaces. Okay, so to get started, you can get the pattern from my Etsy shop, etsy.com slash shop slash little little shop. And this is the Star Puff Pillow. Okay, to start, we're going to either be about a few inches of starting tail. If you want to make a tufted pillow, you'll use those starting tails to tie them together. Or if you want to just leave it nice and puffy, this is what it looks like. Anyways, for this one, I'll leave about a few inches just in case I want to make it tufted. When I'm done. If not, you can always hide the starting tail inside the pillow. Okay, so to start, we're going to make a magic circle. Grab this is how I make a magic circle. Grab the left, um, the starting tail with the left hand, maybe an inch and a half apart. Grab the working yarn in your right hand and make a loop. Hold on to the loop. Insert your hook into that loop. Grab the working yarn and pull it through. Then hold on to the working yarn with your left hand. Adjust everything a little bit and chain two to start first round. Okay, and then we're going to make one half double crochet. So we chain two, made a half double crochet. This is actually the first chain space. You can mark it if you like this. So let me see if I have a stitch marker, but I think I'll not mark it right now because I'm going to slip stitch into that chain space. At the end of the round, so it'll be more difficult to slip stitch when there's a stitch marker in there. Anyway, so now we're ready to make the first cluster. Uh, so we make four clusters, and each cluster is a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and those stitches will make the five points of our star. These are the cluster stitches. Okay, so they'll all line up for each round and you'll make them into the chain spaces of the cluster from the previous round. Okay, so we'll make the first cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And I recommend um, marking those chain spaces as you make them. That way you know exactly where they are. So there's one in between those two half double crochet stitches. The next cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark that chain space in between those half double crochets. And then another cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark the chain space, and each chain space is that gap underneath the chain. And then I think we have one more cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark that last chain space. 
and then we're going to slip stitch to the first chain space that we made. Remember we made the chain two in the beginning of the round. We're going to slip stitch to that chain space to close round one. Um, you can mark that chain space if you like, just to just so you can see that the five points are evenly divided, evenly distributed around the edge of the of the pentagon shape. Okay, so if you stretch them out like this, you'll see that they'll form the five points of our star. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So then we're going to start round two. And we're going to start in the same chain space as where we just made that slip stitch. So we'll take out this start this stitch marker and start right in that. Did I chain one yet? I don't think so. Did I? Slip stitch, chain one. Okay. Now I've chained one to start round two, and then we'll work our first cluster into that same chain space that we just slip stitched to. So we'll make a cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, put that stitch marker back into the chain space for the second round. And then we're going to skip a stitch. And this is where I think a lot of people are getting confused. So after we made that cluster stitch for round two, the first cluster stitch, we're going to skip a stitch. Skip a stitch. And then know that for every round, this is the half double crochet from the previous round just after a chain space and it's covered by your last stitch. So that's this stitch right here. Somewhere in there. So if you've just made your cluster, uh, most people don't notice this stitch. If you pull your cluster back, you'll see there's two loops here. That's where the stitch is. Because remember, each stitch is in the upper right hand corner of your post. So that's the next stitch post, this half double crochet post that you're going to you're going to skip. Those are the that's the stitch. Those are the loops for the stitch. So you're going to skip that one and then work into the next stitch. This is the stitch you're going to work into. And you'll make an increase of two half double crochets into the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat that around Four times total. So now we're at the second chain space, second chain space of that second cluster. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we'll, we'll make another cluster stitch into the second chain space. So a cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And skip that stitch that's covered up and then work into the next stitch of two half double crochets for a half double crochet increase. So that was the second repeat. And that takes us up to this third chain space. So that stitch marker and we'll repeat that again. A cluster of a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Skip that stitch that's covered up and then work an increase of two half double crochets into the next stitch. Now we're at the fourth chain space. Oh, I forgot to mark those chain spaces as I worked. Anyways, I'll show you how to find them if you forget at the end of this round. Okay, so into this fourth chain space, same thing. A cluster stitch of a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Skip that stitch that's covered up into the next stitch, two half double crochets for an increase. 
And then now we're up at the last chain space. Going to make a, a cluster stitch of a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And then uh, skip that stitch after that chain space. That's the stitch that's covered up. And into, uh, and then make a, into the slip stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet. Okay, so now we're at the end of our second round. We're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet to close. That's this half double crochet right here. That was part of the first cluster. We'll slip stitch to the half double crochet to close the round. And then mark each of our chain spaces. That was the first one. If you're having any trouble finding the chain spaces, you can pull your stitches apart. And that's the gap that's right underneath the chain. That's the second chain space. Or you can pull your work out this way and you'll see those are the what will form the five points of our pentagon okay one two third chain space fourth chain space This is a lot easier if you mark them as you make them. Okay, lesson learned. All right, and let's double check to make sure we have all the five sides divided up evenly. We have these two chain spaces and let's see how many stitches we have in between them. We'll count the posts. One, two, three, four. So four stitches in between those two. Here we have one, two, three, four. Next one, one, two, three, four. Next one, one, two, three, four. And then this last one, we have one here, and then this chain one in the beginning of the round will look like one of the posts. So we'll count that as a two, and then this is three and four. Okay, we're good. Now, um, oh, I forgot to bring the starting tail out to the front. Let's use our hook to pull it through to the front. And then we will start on round three. Round three, we chain one to start, just like in round two. And then we're going to start in the same stitch where you made the slip stitch and make a half double crochet. So that's the stitch we made, the half double crochet where we made the slip stitch. We're going to make a half double crochet right into that stitch where we slip stitch to. Okay. And then we're going to work into the next chain space. So we'll take out that stitch marker and make a cluster stitch. Remember, each cluster goes into the chain space of the previous round. So a cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. And then we're going to skip a stitch after that cluster, which is this stitch right here. And then into the next stitch, we're going to make an increase of two half double crochets. And then we're going to skip a stitch. That's this one right here. Okay, so that was the first part of our round three. And then we have four repeats. We'll do a half double crochet increase of two half double crochets into one stitch. Then the cluster into the chain space, skip that stitch that's hidden, and then we'll continue with the rest of the instructions. Okay, so we will make a half double crochet increase after we skip that next stitch of one and two half double crochets for that increase. And then we will work another cluster into this chain space from the previous round of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, and then skip that stitch that's covered up into the next stitch. That's this next stitch you see here. We will make two half double crochets. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mark those chain spaces again. Let's do that. 
These chink spaces will get easier to find once you get past round three because they will all line up into each of the five points of the star. Okay, so that's the second chink space. This is the first chink space. And let's mark the rest of them as we make them. Okay, and then we skip the next stitch and repeat one, two, three more times. So an increase of two half double crochets into the next stitch. That's a stitch right before the chain space. Take out our stitch marker. Just try not to scratch up your yarn too much. Uh, and then into that chain space, make the cluster stitch of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark your chain space as you make it. Skip the next stitch and then an increase of two half double crochets into the stitch after that. Skip a stitch, this one. And then we repeat it two more times. Half double crochet increase. A cluster stitch, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark your chain space. And then skip that next stitch that's covered up by your cluster into the next one. Two half double crochets for an increase. Skip a stitch and one more repeat. Two half double crochets for the increase. Into that cluster, we'll make another, or into the chain space, we'll make another cluster. Mark that last chain space. And then into the, and we'll skip the next stitch, and then into the stitch after that, we'll make an increase of two half double crochets. Okay. Now we're going to slip stitch to our first half double crochet to close. And that's the end of round three. Let's make sure our sides are even. Stretch out your stitch markers. You'll see that there, it forms a nice uh, pentagon shape. So let's just count the stitches, the posts of the stitches, just to double check that they're all even. So one, two, three, four, five, six between the first two chain spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, between the second two chain spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, between the third one, third ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, next ones, and then up here, let's see if we have six posts. One, two, this is the beginning chain one that will look like a post of a half double crochet, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and evenly divided. Okay, now we're ready to start round four. Chain one, and then for round four, we're going to skip the first stitch where you made that slip stitch, and then start in the next stitch. We'll do the half double crochet increase. So here is this, where, that was the back side. Okay, so here's the stitch we slip stitched into. We're going to skip that one, and then work into the next one we will make an increase of two half double crochets. And then we're up here at the first chain space. Let's make that cluster. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark that chain space. Skip the next stitch that's covered up and then into the stitch after that we'll make an increase of two half double crochets. And then we'll make a half double crochet right after that into the next stitch and then skip a stitch. That's the stitch we're going to skip. 
And then we're ready to start our repeat. We'll make four repeats starting from here. So skip that next stitch and then into the stitch after that, we're going to do a half double crochet. Into the next stitch, an increase of two half double crochets. And that brings up, up to the chain space. We'll make the cluster stitch of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Skip the next stitch after that chain space that's covered up by your cluster into the next stitch and increase up to half double crochets. Oh, I forgot to mark. Hang on. So that was the cluster that we just made. Let's mark that chain space before we get. Okay, then skip the next stitch that's covered up into the next one, two half double crochets. Oh, my yarn's all tangled up. Anyways, and then we will make one half double crochet, skip one, and then repeat again. Into the next one, we will make one half double crochet. Into the next one, an increase of two half double crochets. Cluster into that chain space of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Skip the next stitch that's covered up into the next one. Make an increase of two half double crochets. And then one half double crochet into the next one. Skip a stitch, repeat again. One half double crochet. Next stitch, increase of two half double crochets. I pop some yarn. We skipped a stitch, one half double crochet, and increase into the next one, and then into that chain space, another cluster of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Skip the stitch that's covered up by the cluster into the next one, and increase of two half double crochets. Into the next one, one half double crochet. Skip a stitch and repeat one more time. One half double crochet. Increase of two half double crochets. Forgot to mark the other chain spaces. Anyways, let's make this cluster stitch of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. Mark this one. And then skip a stitch after that chain space that's covered up. Into the next one, we will make two half double crochets. And then into the next one, make one half double crochet. And then slip stitch to the first half double crochet at the beginning of the round to close. And that's the first half double crochet of this increase of two half double crochets. So let's mark our chain spaces. One, two, three. Four and five. So if you're having trouble finding it, see how they all start to line up after round three or four? It's a lot easier to find them. So you can either pull it out this way or stretch your stitches this way and you'll see a gap. So now they're nice and evenly divided around the edge of the pentagon. And let's count our stitch posts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in between these two stitch markers, one, two, three. The fourth one is going to be your starting chain one. It's going to look like the fourth post. And then five, six, seven, eight. I originally wrote this pattern as the first chain one counting as a stitch, but that was confusing a lot of people even more. So that's why I took it out of the repeat. Okay, then let's retighten our working yarn and start one, two, three, four, our round five. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's start round five. Chain one. And we're going to skip the stitch where you made that slip stitch and work into the next stitch. Uh, we're going to do a half double crochet and then into the next stitch an increase of two half double crochets and that takes us up to the first chain space we will make that cluster stitch of half double crochet chain one half double crochet which i remember to mark these chain spaces actually you probably don't need to anymore but if you want to, mark them as you make them. Skip that stitch that's covered up into the next stitch. Increase of two half double crochets. And then we will make an one, double crochet, one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then another half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we will skip a stitch, this one right here. So these stitches that are skipped are going to line up and be these inside corners of the star. And the clusters will form the outer points of the star. Okay, so we'll skip that stitch and then repeat. Start a repeat. We skip the next stitch and then start the repeat. So starting, skip this one, starting in the next one, we will make one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. That's the first one in the first stitch, second half double crochet into the second stitch. Then we will make an increase of two half double crochets into the stitch after that. And a cluster into the next chain space. Mark our chain space if you want. Skip that stitch that's hidden. Make an increase of two half double crochets oops, into the stitch after that. And then one half double crochet into each of the next stitches. Next two stitches. That's the first one. That's the second one. Skip a stitch, you should all line up, and then repeat again. One half double crochet, one half double crochet, increase of two half double crochets into the next stitch, a cluster stitch of half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, mark our chain space. Skip that stitch that's hidden to the next stitch, make an increase of two half double crochets. And then into the next stitch, one half double crochet, and one half double crochet into a stitch after that. Skip a stitch and repeat. Make sure your skip stitches all line up, just like how your chain spaces for each of the clusters all line up. To pull out more yarn. Okay, that should be enough to close this round, hopefully. Okay, so we skip a stitch and repeat again. One half double crochet, one half double crochet, increase of two half double crochets. Oops, that went into the gap between the two posts instead of into that stitch. So, there we go again. Increase and then into that chain space, we'll make cluster stitch. And 
mark that chain space. Probably will need to mark these chain spaces after round one, two, three, four, five. Okay, skip that stitch that's hidden into the next one. An increase of two half double crochets. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Skip a stitch. They should all line up. And then we do one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. An increase of two half double crochets. Our last cluster stitch for this round. Mark that chain space if you want. Skip the one that's hidden to the next one. Do an increase of two half double crochets. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And slip stitch to the first half double crochet to close. Okay. That's our pentagon starting to look like a star now. Okay, let's count our stitch posts between each pair of stitch markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. And from the other side, six, seven, eight, nine. And the tenth one is the starting chain one for round five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, round five. Okay, so I think you get the hang of it now. Um, if you want to make it out to any more rounds, so the formula is, let's make round six just so you know what the formula is. Chain one, and I think for round six, I actually have all the instructions written out for you. But, um, so that's round six, and then if you want to follow the formula, it starts here. So we'll chain one, skip the first stitch where you made the slip stitch, and then starting to the next stitch, we will make one half double crochet into the number of stitches minus four. So this is round one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is round six. So six minus four is two. So we'll make one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. That's the formula, or you could follow the instructions for round six. And then we're going to make the increase and then the cluster stitch into the chain space from the previous round. Skip that stitch that's covered up into the next stitch, a half double crochet increase of two half double crochets and then same thing on this side coming down from the point of the star um, well, we will make let's see skip the last stitch mm, oh so we'll make the one half double crochet into the number of stitches minus three because here we do a number of stitches with a round minus four because the starting chain one is actually going to look like a stitch post. So from here down we're going to do a half double crochet into the next number of stitches after that increase into the next number of stitches minus three. So the round number minus three. This is round six minus three is three. So we'll make one and two and three half double crochets. And you'll know when it's done when you get to the stitch to skip they should all line up and then we repeat. We will start with um, the round number minus three so three half double crochets we'll make one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches I mean so one half double crochet two half double crochet three half double crochet and then we make the increase into the next stitch a 
muster into that chain space from the previous round. Skip that stitch that's covered up. Make that increase. And then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. What's going on here? Okay, I think I have enough yarn pulled out to complete this round. Let's just finish round six. Okay, we will make one half double crochet, another one, and a third one. Skip the next stitch, one half double crochet, second one, and a third one. So one into each of the next three stitches. Then a half double crochet increase of two half double crochets before we get to that chain space. Make the cluster into the chain space. Skip that stitch, don't forget the one that's hidden, and then make an increase into the next one. Then make one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Because this is round six, minus three is three. Skip the next one. And then two more repeats of one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and increase into the next stitch. Make that cluster stitch into the chain space. Skip that stitch you can't see to the next one, an increase of two half double crochet stitches, and then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. a stitch and then we're almost done one more repeat one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches an increase of two half double crochet stitches then the cluster stitch And then skip the stitch you can't see, make an increase into the next one. And then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then we're almost done with this round, slip stitch the first half double crochet to close this round. Woohoo! That was the end of round six.